Welcome back to the Grateful Rose River Homestead. Stay tuned, I have a video for you today. Well, today is Monday. There's going to be multiple clips of this video leading up to the inspirational weekly message. All right. Well, today, like I said, is Monday. Beautiful day outside. It's uh, We've reached almost 70 degrees. Um, beautiful day. Um, what am I doing? That's right. The old papa bear is still tilling. You know, I, it's a process. <laughs> um, you know, I'm dealing with electric tiller. The thing is a bad boy. I mean, it's a beast. Um, would I rather have a gasoline one that, and a um, rear uh, tine one? You better believe I would. Self-propelled? Heck yeah. Um, but it is getting done, and that's all matters. I thought I'd take you down here. Um, we had rain, uh, oh gosh, what day was that? I'm trying to think here. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what day that was. Friday? Yeah, Friday, all day Friday. Um, I think even part of Thursday it rained. Um, now well, this is what we're looking at. Um, we have water galore. This is all from the river. Um, um, but it's uh, flooded out here. This uh, this area right about right there is where the future hogs will have during the summer months with the waller. It's that small little area there that it's a water. But right now we have a lake going on. Um, but this is all from the the river um, I did uh, finally put up the pig uh, uh, little housing for him all this stuff here will be uh, cut up here in a little bit uh, not this week but just one of my many projects on the homestead that I have to do I uh, believe it or not I'll show you this is leading the way I think she knows where I'm going but you see that big log there now, you probably have seen in other clips um, when I was doing the cleaning of the bank here. That is what, that's that big tree. That's that big, big tree that I stood at. I mean, the thing is massive and it's almost buried underwater. That's how much water we got. Over here is where Gypsy's at. I think she knew where I was going. There's the piping. Comes from there, runs underground. And comes out here is the overfill now if this piping wasn't here that wasn't there this would all be flooded out maybe um, but you know it we're lucky it's there it's doing its job that's all matters um, I haven't really looked at it since this morning the river was still pretty high the bowl over here, as I call it, uh, it was full this morning. Oh, yeah, it's still full. Yeah. Not as full as it was, but it has dropped. Can you see it bubbling? It's bubbling right there. And it runs right underneath there, and then it goes out underneath the ground. Oh, my Lord, here comes the old Garfunkel cat. Oh, hi, baby boy. Where were you at? Huh? Were you just hanging out? Huh? Were you hanging out? Yeah. Were you down there catching Papa Bear some fish? Huh? Were you catching me some fish? Yeah, it's went down mm, maybe a foot. You can see where the water was at. Um, now yesterday it was crusting 
along the bank back there. That's where that picnic table was at her back there. And it was cresting there. Uh, me and I brought Paisley back there and showed her. But that's the uh, boat ramp. And it's, uh, as you can see, the river is pretty high. Now, usually Sundays I don't do anything. Um, but I had a chance to do something and I thought, well, this is the perfect thing, and I'll show you up here what I did. And I really, I was kind of surprised how easily everything went. And like I said, it only took me maybe 15 minutes tops. Tons of tons of twigs. I got spring cleanup to do on the property. Um, you know, with all this warm weather and rain, the grass is growing. I got to get the tractor in the shop. I got a guy that's going to, uh, I got to take it over and have it looked at. Still the same problem. I don't know what's going on with it. As you can see, these trees are underneath the water. This is where you could actually stood. I've stood down there on that tree. That's all underneath the water right there. But I'll show you up here what I did. There was a big, huge, and I'm talking huge, um, tree branch. Um, it was laying right about here. I couldn't pull it up with the tractor, so I was like, well, I'll just I'll cut it up this spring. Well, I was able to drag it. It was actually pretty easy. I dragged it into the water and pushed it on down, and it went, and I cleaned this whole bank off within, just by using the rake. I didn't have to get the trimmer out or anything. Um, went pretty quick actually. You want to see Gypsy fall in the water? I don't know if it's good to drink the river water, but hey, animals know what's good. Yeah, I'd say it's went down a little bit because I can see. You probably really can't see it. Let me walk up here. Picked all this debris that was laying in the bushes. Like I said, I got spring cleaning that I got to do. You can, can you see that dark stain right there on the bottom one of that post? That's how high up the water was. So it's went down a little bit. Now we are getting more rain, unfortunately, this week. Um, so um, I'm hoping to get this river back down a little bit so it can not to be so full. Um, but you know, still I'm not got the backyard here done. Um, Still working on the front once i get the front done then i can knock this out this is a summer garden anyway so i'm not too worried about getting this one done right away but it needs to get done um so as i get the front one done then once i get all the tilling done i will um um Here's the rabbits. I had to come in here to throw off the music so I don't get copyrighted. Hi there. No babies yet. I don't think she's pregnant. We moved her over here and put a nesting box just in case she um, becomes pregnant. But I don't think she's got any babies. What do you think? You think she's got any babies? How about you? What's your opinion? Huh? What's your opinion? Huh? You don't know either? I don't know either. What do you think about over here? You just drinking? Huh? Is that what you're doing? You don't have no opinion about the whole pregnancy thing? I mean, you three males are supposed to be doing your job. Oh, okay. You want to shake your head now? Well, there's opinion from the rabbits. So... I'm getting ready to stop for the day. Um, I've already done, brought it all the way up, so I got a little bit more to do here. I'm gonna stop out right there for the day. And then I'm gonna sharpen the blades on it. So, that's my day one on Monday. Uh, today we had ham and egg and cheese on a toasted bagel. It was really good and I made some Greasy good fry, fair fries. Oh man, were they good. 
Man, I could have tore up some more of them bad boys. Um, but uh, today's Monday. We're back to to the grind. Um, like I said, we got some weather moving in here later in the week, so I'm gonna try. I be honest with you, after I do this little spot there that I still got to do, I believe I can knock out the other part tomorrow. Fingers crossed, I can get tomorrow done. That would be awesome. Um, so I will bring you back um, tomorrow and see if where I'm at. All right. in the whole project and putting in the new post um, and then fencing it all off um, that way we keep the wildlife out of it uh, uh, keep the dogs and cats out of the garden and then project number three of this garden well that's sort of a surprise so I can't really go into too much detail about that video I think you can hear me today extremely windy we're in the mid 40s um, definitely not summer weather today um, tonight we're going to be down in the low teens uh, so we can get the fire going here in a little bit um, but uh, yeah tomorrow hopefully if the weather permits I will be uh, starting the outline of the uh, summer garden um, and then we'll be uh, starting project number two up here and then I will be doing project number three I don't know exactly how when that'll be done it'll probably be sometime in the early June so we'll be looking for these two videos to go out um, number project number three up here is a, 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 a trial by fire uh, be something I'm learning experience for myself um, because it'll be really stepping up in my comfort zone and uh, just basically seeing if I can do it Day. Also mentioning of weather, um, a correction. Well, I don't know if it's really a correction yet. But, uh, yesterday I was showing you the flow of the water in here, uh, back here in the back corner. Um, the neighbor lady came down, was talking to me about it, and wanted to know if it was coming in from the, uh, the creek, and I don't know what creek she was talking about, but I guess. Sometimes with a creek overfill that fills us up. Now when we moved here, the previous owner basically told us in that bowl, that big bowl thing, not to mess with anything down there, it all works fine, blah blah blah. Okay. So the water coming into this is filling in from that little pipe. Uh, that's where that from. I do know it's from so it's coming from the river somehow. I do know there is a pipe. 
this to me a little bit how it works uh, because I have the pipe that I showed you yesterday I've got over here's the bowl and then right over here is like this little bank there's a pipe coming out of the ground there um, so I don't know what that pipe goes to there is no water coming out of that pipe um, the last night me and the neighbor lady I was we went back here and look um, now there is one pipe the big, uh, inside the bowl there, the dike or whatever you want to call it. Um, it has a metal lid on it with a sludge hammer as I guess a weight. I don't know how that works because there's nothing really to make it work. You know, I mean there's no way to functionally work it. I don't know. It just basically stays open or it stays or barely doesn't even shut. Um, so I shut that off assuming that that would be cutting out the water from here because the bowl was pretty full last yesterday. Um, I did shut that off and the water has went down in the bowl. I don't know where the water went, but it's gone. Um, but it's still filling in the bowl, so I don't know. <clears throat> so I have to do some homework on it. It's way above my pay uh, grade on engineering. I, that was not, I had never got into engineering, anything into engineering itself so I have no clue how any of this stuff works okay so I'm going to have to figure it out because uh, I do know there is a pipe back there that runs out to the river um, so I don't know what I gotta do um, I never got back in that corner on the bank back there last summer I never got a chance to get that trim down so um, I will have to be trimming that out to the spring once the river gets down look at that my pay grade on this whole subject. But yeah, the garden is officially filled. Uh, I've still got two projects up here uh, to do uh, as far as the garden. we got to get it fenced in. And then the uh, other little project that I want to do to make it really, really good when you come down the driveway. Um, so tomorrow I'll be working on the summer garden, three sister garden. The garden in the rear. We don't really know what we want to call it yet, but hey, mainly girl, we'll go into all the detail about that. And I will see you tomorrow. Well, boys and girls, it's Wednesday. It's the next day. Wow. As you can see, I'm in a different spot. I'm in the back here. Uh, it's going on about 4 o'clock. Um, been busy today doing numerous things on the homestead. Um, I did the entrance way to the garden. Um, I did a, I had all these stones, big stones that I dug up from tilling. And, and so I, uh, uh, had a lot of flat ones, big heavy flat ones. So I made a walkway into the garden. Um, like I said, there is a project coming, um, that will be done and that will be a video. Um, but I've been doing that today and. Uh, making sure the car, um, pay the girl got her lunch fixed and then I came back out did the paving and then uh, oh I did uh, remove some of the gravel from the garden um, placed it throughout uh, different spots that needed some gravel and dirt um, out here in the back I just there was uh, pools I don't know if you've seen them before in videos um, uh, like facing the pool area now I kept the one big pool because that's where our fence for this garden space is going to be at. So I kept the one pool, but the rest of them I moved out of the way. I just took them out. 
um, because they don't function for me. They don't. There's no function for there. Um, I think at one time they used it for the, like uh, lean the canoes up on to it. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure what they used it for. Um, so I finally uh, got went back in and I fixed Carmen lunch and then I uh, uh, came back out here and removed them pool and then went back in and and see my job is not just doing landscaping and and my job is inside the house and outside so I have a two two I wear like multiple hats here at this homestead um, yesterday the video was kind of uh, poor because uh, of the wind um, and you will see you probably saw that here for this video or this clip um, um, I was talking about the um, uh, this whole water issue um, the neighbor woman who I talked to on uh, yesterday was Tuesday so Monday night and I was talking about that in that video I don't know if you could really hear it um, um, eat some popcorn um, but anyways, they, they're, uh, kind of related, the old, the homeowner, the previous homeowner here, and, uh, sorry if I'm making you hungry, but it's afternoon, I'm getting hungry. Um, so anyways, their family, they're related in sorts of ways, and, uh, and so I, they contacted her, I guess, and she came down today, and still there is no true solution to this whole water issue. Um, the water is not flowing in now as bad as it was. Of course, the river's going down. Um, so that, personally, I don't see, it's not doing any harm by filling that up over there. Like I said, I don't know where the water's coming from. Um. I'm still working on it. I'm still doing my homework on it and trying to figure out this whole uh, thing. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to do I'm going to get the outline done today. Fingers crossed. Thursday, uh, uh, of course, we're going to go into uh, third tomorrow Thursday, and then that'll be uh, the uplifting uh, inspirational week video. Uh, most likely I'll probably be inside tomorrow. Um, um, unless it's nice like today. Um, because um, they're calling for snow uh, Thursday evening. You know, it is what it is. Um, we'll see. Uh, I think we'll get probably some ice, maybe. Maybe some rain. Uh, but like We need more rain, but... So like I said, this spring, once spring officially breaks, and, and maybe I'll do it here in a couple uh, uh, weeks after the rivers settle down and, and things, have, the weather's kind of steady, I'll go over there and I'll trim out that bank real quick and see if I can find this mystery pipe um, and see what the deal is. Um, because it's feeding, I believe it's feeding that spot over that area. I, I think that's where that water's coming from. Um, like I said, I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know where, because there's a pipe coming out this way. There's a, there's two pipes in the bowl. Uh, there's a pipe over there, and there's supposedly a pipe over there somewhere in on the bank somewhere. But it's just, you know, um, there's skilled levels that I can do, and there's skill levels that I'm just not comfortable in. And then there is things that I will try, and if I fail, I fail, and that's just part of being a human. That's what God gave us for. You know, God gave us that uh, ability to say, you know what, I failed, and it's okay to fail. You know, and it's, uh, if you can learn from your mistakes, that's what that's the whole learning process in life. Um, <coughs> they say old dogs don't learn new tricks. Well, I, I disagree with that theory. Um, there are certain things that I'm just set in my ways, and you're, I'm not going to change. Okay. Um, uh, you know, just like I, I'm, I'm 
you know, the whole liberal movement, uh, this whole thing about um, gender race. Um, I'm sorry, but God created Adam and Eve, and I'm sorry if that offends you. Go ahead and unsubscribe from this channel. You know, because I, I that's how we believe around here. Or I, I should, you know, me and I know what I feel the Paisley Girl believes in the same thing that I do, so. Uh, I'm not trying to get too political here, but there's just certain things that I'm very set in my ways, and there are certain things that I'm like, you know, hey, I'll try this. You know, like, especially owning a homestead, owning a property, and learning um, the ins and outs. Like, you know, this summer I'm going to be learning so many new things, like putting a, an outside spigot um, underneath the carport. Um, we'll be running a pipe from the, the crawl space over to the carport area. Uh, that way it'll be out there, and then um, so there's just so many projects that's going to be going on this summer. Um, like, uh, here, for example, I'll give you an idea that one of the projects that will be coming up really soon, once I get this, this, this area done back here, tilled up, uh, the next project on the video list is, um, uh, right now Carmen has a door that goes right into our bedroom. Um, this window, I don't know if you really can see it in the video. I don't know how much you can see back behind me, but um, there's a video or oh, video. There is a window right here, directly behind me. This small window. Well, right next to that is where the old refrigerator used to be kept. Um, it's it's a small little uh, well, it's not small, but it's a, it's an opening where they had the refrigerator at, and uh, so we will be uh, making that into her new. It'll be going into her bedroom, and then we're going to close off her doorway permanently. And uh, so that's going to be a project here very soon. It'll be started. Uh, I'll be starting that probably, well, as soon as I get this project done. Uh, this is a project that I want to get done. And once I get checked that project off, then I go down my list. I'm like, okay, this is the next one. And then there's sometimes in between projects, you know, that, like, for example, removing pools, you know. Um, like today was Wednesday was trash day, so I filled up the cart of stuff to, from the boat, um, the, what they call the boat shed. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in there and stuff that we're not going to use. I'm just going to go through there and start filling up on the wagon every Wednesday. And now when the trash men come, I'll be right out there to help them load it up so they can't complain. Um, I had a big cart full of stuff today to dump out. They didn't care. They were kind of excited to see that I was helping, you know. Uh, makes their job a lot easier. Um, usually there's only one driver and today he had a uh, helper on the back Which I'm sure made his life a lot easier because you know getting in and out of a truck every all day long man I, I you know, I used to work in, as a paramedic. I know about getting in and out of a vehicle every single day, you know It gets old especially when you work in a 12-hour shift 